What are the best export settings for Studio One? Let's discover that right now inside this next minute or so. So here's a finished jingle that I'm ready to export. I don't want to save it as a, a song or something that I can come back to in Studio One. I want to get this out as an audio file. Wave MP3 would be ideal. So what do you need to do? The quickest way to do this is to go up here to the More menu and look for Marker. Now here you want to make sure your start marker is at the start of your production piece and the end marker should be all the way at the end of your recording to make sure you capture all the audio into the file you're exporting to. Then you need to go up to the song menu up here and look for the opportunity to export mix down. That will export a mix down of all your stems together into one audio file. Exactly what I'm looking for. When I do that, I've got a number of options here. Um, let's go through everything bit by bit. First of all, the location as to where it will save right here into a mix down folder on my hard drive. The name I'm going to give it, Mike Jingle, would be fine. Uh, publishing, I don't want to publish it anywhere, but you can send it off to SoundCloud and other places. And then I've got the opportunity to choose a format. Wave is really popular, probably the best export setting in my opinion. Also, FLAC is a great lossless audio file as well. If you want to save on space, it's smaller than WAV file in general. You can tick that one. Or you can go for MP3 if you really want to save space and maybe upload it to the internet as a podcast. You can change the bit rate to suit you and stick with constant bit rate. Never use variable bit rate. Trust me. Uh, let's go to the WAV file, though. And let's see, 16-bit is good. If we're going to bring this back into an audio editor later, I might suggest 32-bit float. But 16 if it's a final production. And 44.1 kilohertz sample rate is brilliant. So we're exporting between the song start and end marker, 36 second duration. That's exactly right. That's what I'm looking for. You can adjust the loudness. So this is great if you're a podcaster and you want to hit a certain range. There's all kinds of ideas here. Uh, maybe you're going to YouTube as well. But I'm going to choose Apple Podcast and boom, it puts all the settings I need. It does all the loudness normalization for me. How fantastic is that? And you've got options as well to bypass effects, use real-time processing, and all the rest of it. I wouldn't worry about any of that. When you're happy, you click the OK button and zip, it's going to go through and it's going to create yourself a beautiful WAV file. Now you'll notice here I've been notified of an error during my export. Clipping has occurred. The signal went 2.3 dB over. Naughty, naughty, naughty Mike. Uh, do you want to delete the exported file? I could say yes and I could go back in and I could iron that out. So not only is Studio One saving it in the best possible settings WAV file for me, but it's also letting me know if I made an error in my mix so I can go back in, delete that file, make the correction and save it out again at the best possible quality with the best possible settings. It really is very, very intuitive indeed. And I guess you're loving Studio One and my videos if you watch this far. Maybe you want to learn a bit about bend markers and how to stretch things in time. That's the video on the screen now. Go and watch it.